welcome to Micro Squad. Sam and Jack here today. Hi. And we've got a Mortal Kombat. So she's Scorpion and I'm Sub-Zero today. <laughs> kind of fun, fun little boxing. I don't know, Tabata. I don't know what, what we would call it. Tabata. Tabata, boxing, something. There's a lot happening, kind of. Kind of, sort of. So the equipment you're going to need is the ball of bangles for your wrists, because we want those punches to really pack a punch. And then the 15 pound ball of beam and 10 pound ball of ring. You can always just use a dumbbell if you do not have one of those or go lighter or heavier, whatever works for you. But we're going to start off with our warm up. We've got three moves for our warm up: scorpion walks. So you're going to start off in your plank position. Ugh. And then bring that right foot up towards that right hand. Bring that right hand up to the ceiling and twist open. Good. Bring it back down. We're going to switch to that other side. Left foot comes up, left arm reaches up. So you that nice little stretch in and then bring it back down. So you can move at your own pace, but just take that juicy little stretch in between. Yeah, back leg stays nice and strong. Your core is engaged. So we're working on that mobility in Mortal Kombat. There's all those kicks, there's all those jumps. Sorry, we're not gonna do any backflips. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not gonna happen. I was trying to write my Spider-Man workout and my friend was like, so it's really hard to pick moves for Spider-Man because he does so many backflips and you don't do backflips and no one, no one can. <laughs> I know, it takes all the fun out of it. But you have about 15 seconds left of this move. So we're in each warm up move for about a minute. But well, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun in this. Every I'm move. Most of them know by now. They just they come out naturally. I don't plan them, and I apologize. And I sometimes black out when I teach, so I don't remember them afterwards. That people will text me and be like, "Oh my god, that was hilarious!" I'm like, what did I say? <laughs> oh, you're good. My feet are so strong. You're already so strong, I'm guys. Already so strong. We're gonna go into a plank hold in three, two. One, I gave you a little extra time in those stretches. <laughs> so we got some Kano pushes. So you've got protraction, retraction. You're gonna keep the arm straight, press into those the upper back, and then collapse into them. So try to pull those shoulder blades together and then push back up. Yeah, there you go. Now, can you squeeze those inner thighs together? Yeah, I'll fix it. <laughs> My OCD will, will come, come back at me. Yeah, knees is an option. But all you're doing is squeezing the shoulder blades together, pushing through that upper back. If it's tough being here on the ground, there is the option to bring it up to a, the couch, to a chair, to a countertop, or to the wall. It, per, it, that gets easier the higher you go up. Harder is down here in this plank position. But Kano's super strong. In the movie, he was a total jackass. <laughs> I just, I really wanted to punch him. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done with these pushes. How's that upper back feeling? Oh, so good. So good. We want those punches to be super strong, so that's why we want to work on that upper back. But we've got Jack's push-ups, so you're gonna come to those toes again in three, two, one. Up onto those toes. Good, you're gonna bend those knees, push those hips back. So you're gonna get that little puppy dog stretch and then burst forward into that push-up. I love these, these are one of my favorites. Good, pushing back. Oh, yeah, you get that little stretch again, and then you dive forward, push up. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always drop the knees and just come to the knee push-ups, but you still get that whole little stretching aspect in it. Nice. <laughs> 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 My body's like, well, barely stretching your back. That's incredible. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Something amazing, I guess. Um, so you're warming up those arms, just like Jax. You got those new arms. You got to warm them up. You got to get used to them. Well, we're about to start our full workout part of the workout. <laughs> this was the pre-workout to the workout to the warm-up. We are coming up to a sumo squat position in three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to come up to standing. This is the Tabata style piece. We're gonna do each round four times. So we're gonna come into a sumo squat. We got 30 seconds work. So you're gonna squat down, push those hips back as you stand up, front kick forward. <laughs> Jack's like, no. Your point is over here. <laughs> so go, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Everyone's kick's gonna look different. You're gonna alternate legs though. So you're gonna squat down, kick, 
If the kick is too much or you don't have enough space in your home, you're just pulling the knee in. Just pull the knee up towards your chest. Yeah, good modification. These are low, 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 kang, I'm sorry. <laughs> low cow kick, kang kicks. God, that one's hard. You're gonna grab that beam next in that 10 second rest. In three, in two, and one. Good, you're gonna grab that beam. We're gonna step the left foot forward. Right foot's gonna go back. Right hand's gonna hold the beam. We got some Raiden rows. So as if you're pulling up that lightning staff. Hinging forward, here we go in three, two, one. So row it back. Remember, I want you to squeeze with the shoulder blade first. Good, pulling that belly button in towards the spine. You can have a soft bend in that front knee. You can bring the left hand down to that knee if you wish, just to give you that little prop. Whew, how's that feeling? Oh, so good. <laughs> Who knew that Raiden's staff was so, so heavy? heavy. <laughs> You're like, what? Wow, I it was made of wood, man. <laughs> now, lightning's kind of heavy. I mean, you would think lightning would be light, but it's not. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look how buff Thor is. Like, yeah. you, you, lightning can't be that, that light. It really can't be. Okay, we've got those sumo squats coming up in three, two, one, but give me that 10 second rest first. Sorry, got ahead of myself. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, I got it. Staff wench. <laughs> <laughs> we got those Liu Kang squat to kick in three, two, one. So give me that deep squat. As you come up, either pull the knee in or flick that kick out. Now, <laughs> every time. You're gonna knock me right out. Kick. <laughs> It's nice to know my training came in some yeah, handy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my party trick. Watch out! <laughs> Mine looks so weak in comparison. Okay, that's why I'm doing it. You're I'm like, doing uh, it. Yeah, uh, but guess what? When, whether you're pulling the leg out to that full kick or just the knee in, you're getting that little crunch through that core. We're gonna bring it to that row on the left side in three, two, one. Ten second break. Grab that weight. Yeah, right leg's gonna go forward now. I'll get you guys set up here. Yeah, right leg forward, left arm's gonna reach down. We're gonna pull it back in three, two, one. Pull it back, squeeze the shoulder blade back, pick up that staff. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> All those kicks. Guys, so Jack here is a soul cycle instructor here in the Bay Area. Whoa, She's all awesome. time I was here. Yeah, I know. That's so funny. You we were just getting you introduced to her. We're gonna come into that 10 second break in three, two, one. I will take that. You got that 10 second break, reset. We're gonna go into those Liu Kang squats to kick. We're halfway done with this My round. Favorite. Your favorite in My three, favorite. two, one. Squat down, just pick up that knee, maybe flick the kick out, good. Squat down, pull that belly button in towards the spine. Yeah, so now she's training to be a rumble instructor. Ow. So it's just every time she's gonna be in here. <laughs> it's gonna be like, so she teaches here, here, and here, but she's also in training to be this. She's training to be Ninja a part. Warrior. <laughs> yeah, like, Ninja Warrior. Warrior, we're gonna get her into that full, full, uh, full gear, full yeah, thing. I just don't like to fall, so I could never be right? on that's, an American Ninja Warrior. That's the thing I don't like. I'm like. I just don't wanna fall. That just means we have to be really, really strong. We should do that as a fun day, like go to one of the training camps. So fun! <laughs> so fun! Good, we're gonna rest in three, two, one. Good, okay, so switching sides. Right hand's gonna hold that beam. The left leg is forward, yeah, right leg's back. Woo! And you're gonna do those rows in three, two, one. Right in rows, right here, squeeze that shoulder blade back. Now isolate through that core, pull that belly button in. I was about to say it, every Street Fighter, no, every Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> Guys, I can't di differentiate the two. They merge together in my brain, but I actually know more Street Fighter. I was telling Jack earlier, but to get to my point, every Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter character has these insane abs. <laughs> and, so insane, and insane and insane boobs. Like that way. <laughs> I know. So weird. Or these insane boobs, which neither of us have. <laughs> Damn it! We're gonna come into that 10 second break in three, two, one. Okay, take that break. Last round. We got this. We're not gonna finish them yet. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> 
Not yet. We go sumo squats to kick in three, two, one. Sumo squat, push those hips back, drive the knee up. Now a little tip with the kick, if you're starting to explore the kicks, where your knee points is where your kick is gonna go. So if your knee points off to the side, if it points out, down, that's where your kick's gonna go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you're like, yes, yes, oh God, yes. Ah! There we go, guys. Kick through it, good. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. You are going to rest in three, two, one. Okay, yeah, Raiden's Rose. Last one. Left arm is gonna hold this time. Whew, catch that breath. How's it feel to kick now? Oh my gosh, it feels so strong. So strong, so strong. Cool as you. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there, guys. We're gonna row it back in three, two, one. But you took that extra step and actually kicked. I can't wait to hear what you tell your classes. <laughs> I kicked, guys. I kicked. I kicked ass. Air. I kicked air. <laughs> <laughs> most people know kicks are my favorite most people know I haven't talked about martial arts for a while but kicks are my favorite because it's the longest part of my body yeah. <laughs> my punches were never I felt like my punches were great if you ask my sisters they'll say they'll say to something totally different I cannot aim with a punch but I am wonderful at giving dead arms <laughs> I don't know how that all works, but at least my kicks were always fantastic because that's all that could reach my opponent. Okay, we're gonna rest in three, two, one. Okay, rest, Whew. breathe. Okay, so we got a combo move coming up. I'm gonna talk you guys through this before we start everything. Fighting stance, left foot is gonna go forward, right foot is gonna go back. Your hands are gonna come up. We have a jab, which is the front hand, left. Then we have right. And then you're gonna grab that imaginary head and pull the knee in. That is your combo, there you go. I know, it feels so badass when you imagine that person. It's Sonia's combo. She's pretty badass, I feel like. So we got that combo starting in three, two, one. So jab, cross, grab, and knee. Jab, cross, knee. Now if you're feeling comfortable, I want you to speed it up. Yes. Now imagine that opponent on the other side. Maybe it's Sub-Zero, maybe it's me. It probably is me. <laughs> You're imagining grabbing my head and pulling me in to jab that knee into their gut, my gut. When you grab, you're twisting. So you're getting a little oblique twist. See, there's that core. It's coming in, nice, Jack. There you go, come on, squad. Pick it up, you got that rest in three, two, one. Okay, resting down, you got 10 second rest. We have a lunge and twist. There you go. So we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the left foot forward, and we're going to lunge down and twist to the right. These are Kang Lao's twists in three, two, one. So you're gonna bend that back knee, twist down towards that left knee. As you come up, twist up. You can either twist open, or if you feel real fancy, you can twist up towards the sky. Yeah. I love this back pivot you've got going on with that right leg. Pivot! No, pivot! wrong. <laughs> wrong fandom. But that's what's happening. So this pivot that's happening in Jack's right foot will help assist you in all of your moves, especially as you're punching. Because to deliver that heavy cross punch, that back foot needs to lift and twist to deliver that power and force through. We're going to rest in three, two, one. I'll take that ring from you. Good. Rest. We're going to put the right foot forward. Left leg is back. We're going to do Sonia's combos on this side. Yes, it's going to feel real funky. Here we go in three, two, one. So right hand cross or jab, cross, punch. Jab, cross, punch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Merging so many things in my head. Right, left, knee. So you're kneeing with that left hand. Left side, pull it in, there you go. <laughs> Losing my words here. <laughs> pull it in. Now see if you can get that extra little twist as you pull that knee in towards that opponent's belly. Every time, I want that knee to finish them. Yeah. Yes. As if you're driving that knee through them and their spine's gonna come out the other side. <laughs> Just like. <You're> so graphic. <laughs> I never, I like, I don't know why they let me play Mortal Kombat. That thing was, you're know, ripping okay. spines out. You're seeing blood gush out. Like, Lots of blood. so much blood. I mean, maybe that's why I have an obsession with skulls is because of that game. Oh, I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're hidden. 
September 1st, it may look a little different in here. We're gonna rest in three, two, one. Good, rest, grab that ring. Right foot's gonna go forward, left leg is back. You got that lunge and twist now. Catch your breath, we are about to start. You got it? Little objects that you hand me. This doesn't weigh that much, and you hand it to me. I'm like, why? Oh, why is it so heavy? It's so heavy. We're gonna lunge in three, two, one. So twist to that right side. Lunge it down as you come up. Twist. So we're just reinforcing that oblique twist that you do in the kneeing movements. There you go. That pivot of the back foot. And then you have the ball of bangles on, which is one pound each, which doesn't, it doesn't feel like a lot. Now imagine if you taught soul cycle with those on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know this, so we've already said she works at soul cycle. These bangles are from soul cycle. Whoa. <laughs> so we're just soul cycling it up in here. <sighs> That's right. Rolling the spin bike. Here we go. <laughs> I know, that'll be the next step. What other equipment you're gonna need? <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're gonna rest in three, two, one. I'll take that ring. You guys can place it down. Left foot forward, Sonia's combo. Once more, left leg forward, jab, cross, knee. In three, two, one. Jab, cross, knee. Pull it in. Yes. Oh, I love the sound effect. Yeah, you got it. Yes. Just reminds me of uh, now we're gonna jump fandoms again. It's like uh, Ian McGregor and as Obi Wan Kenobi when he's shoo, shoo. <laughs> yes. I was gonna tell you the ball of reminds me of a Sonic. Oh yeah. Yes. I'm you more ideas. More ideas. I know. I'm currently writing a Witcher play, uh, workout. I've been asked to do Game of Thrones. There's just so many, so many. Just keeps, the list keeps getting endless. Last night it was, oh, I'm gonna do Kim Possible because oh, I don't know. Yes. yes. Good, there we go. Yes! Like a mole rat. We have those lunge and twists in three, two, one. Kung Lao's lunge and twist. Left foot is gonna stay forward. You're gonna twist to the left. Catch your breath. We start in three, two, one, so twisting to the left, opening up, twist open, good. I will say this was one of the coolest objects, was his hat toss. Although it just reminded me so much more of, um, what's his name from, uh, oh, I lost it, 007, the guy with the hat. Oh. It's from Goldfinger, yeah, I know that, I, I just. It, I got it. <laughs> That's all I could correlate him to. Oh my God, now it's gonna bother me. <laughs> I can't remember his name. I can't think in lunch. Someone back there on that side is probably yelling at us, going, "It's this person." Is it? Just, yeah. I'll yeah. Okay. We're gonna rest in three, two, one. Good. Okay. Catch your breath. Right foot's gonna go forward now. Sonia's combo. Money, penny. Money, penny. <laughs> Hands are up. Oh my god, just all the fandoms come out. It's so bad. Sonia, Sonia's combo in three, two, one. Right, left, left knee. Good. Nice. Keep those hands up. So even after that knee, bring them straight back. Protect your face. We don't want a fatality. <laughs> I just threw their skull. Yes, just burst it out. I love seeing like the slow mos of them too. The replays. Nice. Now do me a favor. As you throw that left punch, pivot that left foot up. Yeah, there you go. And then knee it up. We have Kung Lao's twist again. Right side in three, two, one. Good. There you go, right foot forward, left leg is back. This is the last one of this round. We're almost done with workout. Lunging to, or twisting to the right in three, two, one. Twist to the right, lunge it down, good. Open it up, twist open, good. Throwing that dangerous hat that we cannot remember. Oh my God, I can see the character. Oh, yeah, so can I. And I can see the Austin Powers version too. <laughs> I just can't remember. I mean, but this guy's hat was so much cooler, Kung Lao's. Yeah, sure. And the way they portrayed it in the movie was that I thought that was really cool in the new movie. 
I still think it was okay. <laughs> the new Power Rangers movie was really good though. Oh, I didn't see that one. Ah. It's okay. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> More things to watch. So many fandoms. So okay, you guys get to rest here in three, two, one. Good. Rest it down. Breathe. Relax. Whew. Okay, last round here. The finishing, the final round. Us. Okay, so left leg is gonna come forward. We got another combo move. Your hands are gonna come up, so we're gonna duck. So as if someone's throwing that Kung Lao hat at you or a punch, you're gonna duck out of the way. You crunch to that left side and you throw an uppercut with the left hand, and then you come up and right hand cross. That's all it is. You're gonna duck, uppercut, cross. All it is. And then we're gonna come to the floor for the ab moves. It's Katana's Killer Abs. Alliteration, almost alliteration, <laughs> full alliteration. I mean, we could say Katana Killer Core and nice. spell it with a K. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Sub Zero's attack in three, two, one. Good. Duck, uppercut, cross, duck, uppercut, cross. Keep it tight for me. So, duck, uppercut, cross. So really contract your core. Feel that little crunch in the left side. Uppercut, because you've just ducked underneath his throw and you're punching right up. I don't know who he is, but whoever the opponent is, they are. I, you're doing Sub-Zero's combo. So in this move, you are Sub-Zero. Or you're trying to find that winning combo move <laughs> to defeat him. We're going to rest in three, two, one, good, rest. We're gonna bring it down to the floor, all the way down. At least the balas aren't on your ankles. This wouldn't feel oh fun. God, I was like, last time I was like, <laughs> like, oh, I can't. So I'm gonna have you rotate this way. Good. And you're gonna bring your legs, <laughs> paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> you're gonna bring your legs up to the sky. Okay, so hands come down. We're gonna do one scissor down. So I want you to lower one leg down. Uh, fan them out, two scissors, two scissors, fan it out, good, yes. So the bottom leg doesn't need to go that low so that your lower back doesn't pop off of the ground. But you're pulling that belly button in towards the spine, yes, there you go. So what we're doing here is we're creating a big fan with those legs. So if you can see from a top view, this is what her legs are doing. They're creating those cool fans. That is something I really wanted in karate was fans with knives on the end of it. It just sounds super dangerous. <laughs> I never really learned how to use the fans in a defensive mechanism. I used size and bow staff. What else did I use? I'm learning to never fight with you. <laughs> We're gonna rest in three, two, one. Good rest, come on up. So right leg's gonna go forward now. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm already. Okay, so this is this is your more dominant side, right? Yeah. Okay. So using using that right leg forward, we have that duck, uh, uppercut cross in three, two, one. So duck to the right, uppercut cross, duck, uppercut cross. Yes. Keep going. Remember, as you send that left arm out, I want you to pivot through that left leg. So actually throw your hips into it too. Yes. There you go. That will deliver a hell of a punch. Maybe that fatality punch. We don't know yet. We're not in a real video game, but I wish we were. <laughs> Finish him. Good. Situation. Yes. I mean, we're kind of getting to that point with AR and yeah. the VR goggles. One day, one day. We're gonna bring it down to those Katana Killer Core in three, two, one. Good rest. How are we feeling? So good. So good. Are we feeling killer? I'm feeling so killer. That's Killer like dead? <laughs> There's a single droplet of sweat. That's okay. I mop everything, so you're good. Just one droplet. One droplet. You can't show them too much. We're gonna lay all the way down. Legs are gonna come up to the sky. And those fan kicks. So drop one leg, doesn't matter. Good. And then fan it open. Two kicks. Woo! And fan them open. This is not just great for the core, it's great for the hip mobility. So as you start to explore kicks and more fancy kicks, you can start to open up those hips. Some more mobility. <laughs> see, you're doing that fan kick I told you about earlier, just on the ground. <laughs> yeah, see, now see? Only I can elevate this. <laughs> now if I can just stand on one leg and not throw myself off balance, yes. We're gonna bring it on up in three, two, one. 10 second rest. 
Good. Sub zeros attack. So left leg is forward. So in your fighting stance at Rumble, do you, they actually have you put right foot back or you lead with your right foot? Your more dominant foot is back. Okay, so that's right. Okay. I was curious because, yeah, because I always fight with left leg forward because I'm right handed and this is all my stronger. Yeah, this is the cannon right here. Yes, this is, this is everything. My right leg is my power leg. Reverb you had on that. This, <laughs> this is my killer leg. This is my speed leg because I can balance on this leg. I can speed kick with this leg. And then this is, this is my knockout leg. Well, well, she's like, okay, so I'm going to take, these are my hands for holding. <laughs> also, really this is my brain for thinking. I'm really good at hugging. <laughs> Very good at hugging. Guys, we got that left foot forward in three, two, one, crunch down, duck, left uppercut, cross. Good. Twist from that back leg. Throw the hips into it. Yeah. Twist. Good. Uppercut. Yes. Duck out of the way. Get that. Can you feel that little crunch in the side? Oh, yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It should feel like I'm there crunching. <laughs> Doesn't someone have like a claw that someone's got that claw on your side? And you're, it's a great move too. If someone punches, you can lock it in. <laughs> yes. I'm making my own sound effects. Now. I love it. Make the sound effects. Mine just sound really intense when I go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> okay, we're gonna come down. Katana Killer Core in three, two, one. Good. I'm sure manufacturing is probably like, what on earth are they doing in there? No. Katana! Yeah. Look out! Get it. <laughs> I feel like we're used to it by now. They really are. Uh, scoot this way just a tad. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yes, so legs go up. We're gonna drop one leg and fan it out in three, two, one. Good, fan it out. Yes, twist two legs and then fan, good. I know this one takes a lot more thinking. It's not really button smashing. <laughs> this, is, nice. this is the combo and this is how we do it. I just learned like probably three years ago that there is like a pattern that you can learn. Yes, in. yes. I had no idea. I was just, let's press all the buttons. My <laughs> they just they, they wanted, wanted to win. Yeah, they, they just wanted to win. Yeah, no one ever taught me combos. They were just like, here, here's a controller. Okay, we're gonna come on up. Last round. We're gonna finish strong squad in three, two, one. Come up 10 second rest. Right leg's gonna go forward. So for us, this is our less dominant side. Takes a little bit more coordination. You got it? <laughs> She's like, mm. You said right, and I was like... Right leg forward. <laughs> Good. We're going to start in three, two, one. Duck, uppercut, cross. Duck, uppercut, cross. Throw those hips into it as you come up for that cross. There you go. So I took Jack's class on Saturday, and I was riding sidebar, which I never do. And I didn't realize how messed up I was because I'm following you, but listening to you, and you're you're doing the opposite, like yeah. what every instructor does. So I kept screwing up what arm I was on, or what leg I was yeah, on. Like yeah, I was bumping into the girl next to me. I felt so bad. Then she says she's an instructor. I'm like, well, then I'm a horrible instructor because I should know how this works. <laughs> that you should just listen, not watch. <laughs> I fail. <laughs> It was the mask. I got yeah. too much CO2. Yeah. Yeah, oh <laughs> too much CO2 that it just made so me. <laughs> okay, Katana Killer Abs. We're going to finish strong here in three, two, one. Good. Come on down. Lay down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired from I know. punching. <laughs> punching the air from sweating. Legs are going to come up. We drop one leg in three, two, one, drop one leg, fan it out, and switch. So I, I was notorious for teaching a self-defense class at like 5 p.m. And then at 6 p.m. I had to teach a yoga class. The level of switch my brain had to do, oh my God, the first like 15 minutes was like intense, the most intense yoga 
anyone had ever taken. I don't know why my class stayed full. <laughs> it was like 15 minutes of like, okay, we're gonna get into a child's pose. We're gonna hold our coordinate and breathe. <laughs> Finish here. Fatality is in three, two, one. Good. Hug those knees in, take a deep breath. <sighs> We finished. We finished him. We finished him. I need to find that voiceover and like plug it into the right video fin and uh, put the words up. Finish him. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay. Nice job, guys. Take those stretches that you feel like you may need. That we have those stretching videos. Open up the chest. I'm gonna try to chill my voice out now. I can never teach these classes and like, teach yeah, no, never. I can't, I, I just, I get so worked up. <laughs> Mark makes fun of me. Like, well, I'll watch murder docs, I'll watch horror things, and I'll go straight to sleep. But if I watch Mortal Kombat, <laughs> if I watch anything, <laughs> yeah, if I watch John Wick, he's like, okay, we need to, it's, it's 8 p.m., we're gonna have to stop it here. You finish it tomorrow, because you're not going to sleep. <laughs> I get so amped. I can't watch, I can't watch UFC fights, because it's just all bad. <laughs> I sit, I've been with friends, I've been like, what the fuck is that guy doing? I will, I can do that. Stop it. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> it's, it's all bad. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Mortal Kombat workout. Follow Scorpion, aka Jack Moves, and go take one of her Soul Cycle classes. She yeah. posts her schedule every week. I sometimes try to pop in when I can. Oh, baby. Oh, yes, and you guys get to watch me die. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching The Micro Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and check out our on-demand classes. They are on our website, themicrosquad.com, and we'll see you next time.